Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to a little bit more Escape from Tarkov. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining how you can survive the warehouse, giving you a few tips and tricks, and getting you out of that place with some good loot. Now, first off, let's break this down. The first thing you want to do is work out what you're taking into the warehouse. The higher risk, the better equipment you take in, the better prepared you'll be, but at the same time, the higher chance you have of losing it. Now, what I recommend taking in is at the very minimum, take yourself a knife, a key so you can access any of the doors, giving you options to escape and some sort of medical pack. If you have pistols, if you have shotguns. Now, the thing is with these longer barreled weapons, remember you're in a CQB environment. So taking the granddad's long barreled shotgun into one of these places might do more harm than it is good. So think about that. Now, moving on to the spawn point, when you spawn in, you have a number of options. I recommend either rushing away from that spawn point as fast as you possibly can or sitting and listening. These two options will give you some great advantages. If you sit and listen, you'll hear the footsteps around you, you'll hear the gunfire and you'll work out where the battle is breaking out. But you do have the risk of your spawn point being rushed by a player that knows it. If you get away from that spawn point, then you lose the area of rush. But the only problem that you do have then is you may have made a little bit of noise and a player might start tracking you down. Now, moving on from your spawn point, you need to set yourself a clear goal in your head. In my personal opinion, if you don't have a plan of where you're going to go, you tend to loiter around, spend too long in areas, deciding you need to completely eradicate that from your mind and basically get to that point before your mind decides that it's not too short and you look around in a position deciding between two doors and your head is opened up by a madman with a shotgun. Now talking a little bit further about moving from the spawn point is you want to listen. Listening to the weapon sounds around you, identifying them weapons. Has he got an AK? What does an AK sound like compared to a macro? By identifying what weapon he's got when he's shooting at you, it will allow you to deal with the situation in a number of ways. Also identifying his equipment. Now we're talking a little bit more about the sound. When gunshot or gunshots are there's a firefight occurring, use this to cover your footsteps. Footsteps are extremely important in Tarkov. And if you can hear someone creeping up on you, you can usually get the drop on them and the gunshots will mask this. So you can get up behind them and put some rounds into them. Now, moving a little bit further on, I'm going to talk about counting bodies. Now, since there's only a few players that spawn in at the start, you want to count them bodies as they are dead. If you find the ones dead, count it and add them up. It should add up between five and six bodies in a round. So be very careful. And if all them people are dead, then you need to keep your eyes open for scavs. But at the same time, a scout can spawn in right at the beginning of the game as well. So you really need to be alert. Don't let your guard down just because you counted all the bodies and everyone's dead. Now moving a little bit further from counting the bodies to actually searching them. When it comes to searching them, try to search them from cover. So sit around the corner, go prone. Don't loot a body in the middle of the open. The amount of times I've shot a scav in the middle of the factory floor, people have flocked to it and then I've killed them and the bodies just start piling up. It is not worth the risk. If you've got a lot of equipment, that scavers kit and equipment that's lying in the middle of the room is just not worth your time and risk. So moving a little bit further down, let's talk about the map of the factory. Now, I divided this up into a few different areas. First off, we have the underground. Now, the underground is one of the best ways of getting around unseen. The only problem it has is two factors. There's long sight lines that don't have any cover in. So if you're running up and down one of the shafts, you're pretty much exposed until you get into one of the inlets. And then in the center, it opens up to these larger tanks and you're exposed from the ceiling area. I just like to stay out of that tank area completely and advise you do as well. Now, moving on to the next level up, we have the factory floor. The factory floor is a place you don't want to stay too long. And if you do, you want to move across it fast or to an area of cover within it. The reason for this is people can pop out of the sewers or the sort of underground area anywhere. They could pop up from the catwalks above as well as the office area. Now, talking about the office areas, the office area is where most of the action happens. There's two staircases on either side and there's also a joining adjacent tunnel that takes you down to the central area of the factory. The central tunnel or catwalk area across the top is an extremely dangerous place to be. If you have to go up through that way, that I strongly advise against, move through it quickly, get yourself within the office block, loot the upper floors. When it comes to looting the upper floors, check the lock room with the factory key that you've hopefully brought. You should find some weapons, some shotgun ammunition in there, but talking about that room, 
many players will rush there, camp around the barrel to the right, or they'll even attempt to go like an axe-wielding maniac here from behind the door. So check that when you go in before you start to loot. Now moving on to the final area to sort of play in. This is probably the most dangerous but the most target opportunity area and that is in the catwalks the air vents that lead around the whole of the factory literally you can get around the whole place from being up there now there's only a few spots up there that are worth sitting in if you want to decide to wait on a point but i do advise moving up there using it as a way of getting across using the line of sight to take out players that are not expecting you to be there and then getting down as fast as possible because if you get spotted up there there is no cover and you'll be brought down or you'll pretty much fall off like a dead duck. Now, moving on to the final factor, I'm gonna to talk to you about two tactics that I like to employ in factory. The first one is hold the high ground. And the idea of this is taking the office block extremely early and holding them upper floors and eliminating the other players as they come up to you. Now, sometimes this isn't possible. And if this isn't possible, I like to play the perimeter. Basically, I hover around the edge of the map so my back is protected, no one can come up from behind me. Um, I've got very sort of narrow angles of approach. I can really control the environment around me and going into the center of the factory is extremely risky because you can have threats from all angles above, below, it's left and right. So holding that perimeter it can get you some good kills, get you some good loot and you've always got them axe place points very close by to get out of there. Now, once you're out of there, it is a matter of breaking down your equipment and selling it, trading it, take off the attachments, split off parts, see which uh, sort of traders will give you the best prices, and don't be scared of selling a lot of things that are in your inventory. You shouldn't hoard things in your inventory. You need to keep the money because the money is better than the equipment in a lot of cases. You can always do a knife run. Now, my final overall tip for Escape from Tarkov and the warehouse area is not to stress yourself out. If you're going in there with a lot of equipment, you'll find yourself extremely stressed. Now, don't let that play to the enemy's advantage. Play it cool, take a breath, and just relax. Otherwise, the stress and the tension of the situation, your heart rate going through the roof, will get you killed. You'll panic, you'll hesitate, you'll miss the shot, and it'll be all over a few in seconds. Anyway, hopefully that's brought some light to the situation in the warehouse, and it'll allow you to think next time that you're surrounded by scavs, or maybe you're trapped down in the underground and need to get out, or maybe the door's being covered by a crafty camper. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and hopefully these tips have helped you out.